What is your gender? My gender? Mm. I'm a mechanic. Mm. Mechanic, mechanic. That is your gender? Yeah. I think every woman has the right to choose whether or not you has a baby. told me and you told the camera that you think it's okay the day before birth for a woman to inject a solution into her child to stop but its that's heart. That's not what I said. You're and saying that. You said it's okay to do that. You're I think that the mom needs to be able to decide. And I know that's a cop out to say that, but. But should she legally be able to decide? a day before birth yeah is this why you record for stupid shit like this you guys are disgusting and now she's going up to the cops i guess i don't know what's happening you're not making any sense are you on drugs she's saying it's cool to wipe out the child a day before it's born but she's calling the interviewer disgusting i'm not too sure about that and when they don't have the answer, they always run to the police like a little five-year-old telling on people to their parents. She didn't have an answer to the question, so that was the best way to deal with the situation. I don't hate liberals. I feel sad for them that they're mentally challenged. I'm a feminist, and I don't okay, hate so men. Okay, so you are a self-described feminist. What is a woman? Why do you want to know? I'm infinitely what, wait, curious. What's a man? You're looking at one. Why do you think that that's important to you, what a man and a woman is? So do you, you treat men and women differently? Well, it depends in what context, though. Politically, no. Under the law, no. Should mm -hmm. they be treated differently in societal customs and norms? Yes. Why? Like, we should open doors for women. We, we should honor and protect women. And... I want to honor and protect you, man. Okay, Aww. great. Thank you. you. Women protected? are worthy of protection. Can you tell me what a woman is since you're a feminist? You're saying these things because you're trying to get a gotcha. You're okay, a feminist. So you Shouldn't you be able to tell me what a woman is? I'm a feminist. Isn't that probably important to feminism? What an idiot. Her brain is in the middle of a meltdown. She just couldn't answer. She couldn't answer. They never do. I know what we should do. Let's take her to an oil rig as a man and let's see how long she lasts. Do you think genitals define gender? No. If genitals don't define gender, why does removing them affirm it? So a person uh, will feel more affirmed if, if they change their genitals and it'll help affirm them societally. Would you say then genitals don't do define gender? No, I don't think You'd so. still say no? No. So what do you have to say to the person that says you are what you're born with and you just need to accept it? Fuck you. Hey. Is this real life? No, no. I, I don't think that's appropriate for this call. Let's, let's stop. Let... Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, what? You don't think that's appropriate for this call? Well, but, he, but it was I just thought... You know. you, were you looking down my shirt? What? I was doing a magic trick. I was literally grabbing the forms that you guys asked for. I shouldn't have to apologize for wearing what I want to wear. Is this what you want, Sam? Like, is this what you wanted me to do? No, no, I, I'm gay. Big man thing, yeah? It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. What do you guys think about the wage gap? I'm gonna make less just because I'm a woman, but also because I'm black. I mean, it's outrageous. We're actually talking about the, the OnlyFans wage gap between men and women. <laughs> well, you don't want to talk about it? No. Don't you think they should be paid the same equality? Men are ugly, there you go. They're walking away because they know they do not want to get into that debate and they know the guy is just spitting facts. They just flip their logic on them. The whole wage gap debate has just been debunked with this OnlyFans stuff. These girls making six figures a week and there's not many guys on that platform making half that. And there's some who are even making millions a week. Let's just mention that when these women want to bring up the wage gap, just bring up the OnlyFans wage gap. Catch them out. Um, yeah, this is him. Um I called up my dad and I said, hey, guess what? Your grandson? Gay. Gay, gay, gay. Stop it. Get some help. My dad says, you can't just say that your baby is gay before he gets a chance to tell us he's gay. And I go, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Straight people do it all the time. Little baby boy is born. Oh, he's going to be a heartbreaker. Little baby girl is born. Oh, you better lock her up when she turns 16. Clearly, people want their children to be straight. Well, my son is gay. Gay. Very gay. Well, I'm out, guys. If this is what's cool now, I think I'm done. I no longer have any connection to this world. I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Goodbye, friends. I'm just curious, like... Yes. 
Tell me your... Like some organization or something? Or are you just doing this for attention? Yes, we're with the, uh, the President of the United States. Joe Biden hired me himself. I don't believe you. He put me up to it. If you want, just send him a letter. Get a petition signed. Tell me to stop. No. Feminists are smelly. All right. I mean... I got some... I'm pretty sure everyone's a little smelly, dude. Yeah. pretty sure you smell a little too. Yeah, but they're a little over the top, wouldn't you say? How old are you? I'm just curious. Uh, does it matter? Yeah, it kind of does. Why? I'm just curious. Are How you, do you think I am? Are you a minor? You guys are scaring me. Good. I'm sorry. But I do have some deodorant. This is intimidating. If y'all need some deodorant, I got you. Where is it? Yeah, I'd like to see it. Yeah, get, get it. Do you actually want some? Yeah, yeah. get it. So you're saying I'll this message is right correct? You're saying this message is true? We're not saying it's accurate because everyone's smelly if you're putting it that way. I asked him to show us the deodorant. I would love to apply some. So your situation is a high conflict personality? How much were you neglecting? Are you Jordan Peterson? Do you know what a high conflict personality is? Are you a psychologist? educated what school did you go to <laughs> we need to protect this man at all costs he's doing god's work right here and you know just that sign alone will get him all the content he wants and remember what that guy said on tv about feminists sticks and stones may break my bones but there will always be something to offend a feminist Peter Lloyd. Well, no, that's just obnoxious. Peter Lloyd, Sorry, you, have to, you have to Wait, give me a I chance we'll to respond to that. That discussion. is ridiculous. That no, hang on, I won't do your show again if you don't let me respond Go to on, that. Go Shut the fuck up, bitch. My question isn't specifically about anything you really said tonight, although I don't really agree with anything you said. Um, okay. I'm proudly part of the LGBTQ community. Uh, I've always stood up for my community whenever I needed to. Um, I want to focus specifically on. Uh, I've been like listening to you for a little bit just to understand some things. Um, a, a live stream you did about Pride Month in June on Facebook because you were no longer allowed on YouTube. Um, the event that you were talking about, I actually had the honor of attending that event uh, with a lot of my really close friends, and I, I found it very perplexing to me how you choose to only focus on the things that are negative when it comes to the queer community. Um, I'm sorry, when it comes to what community? The queer community. Okay. I like, just gotta, just gotta... do you not realize that people like you and people like the people you're around and that you know continue to have this idea of us are the reason we feel that we have to be so openly proud of who we are. Your demented homophobic and, and transphobic rhetoric and rants just further prove our point that we have to fight loudly to be respected. The reason that LGBTQIA plus suicide rates are so high in this country isn't just because we're part of the community, it's because there are people like you who make us feel like we don't belong. The only LGBTQ agenda we have is... Okay, is, it a, is there a question in there or a speech? Yes. You got to ask a question, buddy. I how know you wrote you, out how, this out in your notes, but ask a question. Let's how go. How do you and how do you think other people who, with your beliefs respond to the fact that your hateful and harmful rhetoric, rhetoric costs the lives of queer children every single day, on average, every 45 seconds? Okay, so this is just going to be a pure boogeyman. You're, you're pretending that someone committed suicide because of Candace Owens. You've got no facts here. You're just going, it's your rhetoric that's causing all of this. When in reality, you want to talk about the T. Uh, I sat down with a man named Walt Heyer who was convinced to chop his penis off after your community told him that there was something wrong with him because he had confusion of people who have changed their parts and can't go back. And you know what happens? Suicide rates go up after they transition. After they transition. And Candace Owens wasn't the one that chopped their dicks off. Great. Next question. That's what I'm talking about! Candace Owens yet again spreading that realness. <laughs> Next question. That guy just got shut down. The thing is, we need more people like this. People who are going to say what they think without thinking of the consequences just saying what's on their mind and she couldn't have said it any better this guy is just spreading misinformation no facts he's just he's just assuming that she's responsible for these things candace is too smart for these don't ask man if you want to watch that full speech I'll, I'll link it in the description down below you don't know what you're talking about you're not educated on genetics to discuss the genetics or well, well no no, no your genetics I, I so i'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans you cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. Shut your fucking mouth, you'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. Look at that testosterone kicking in, man. He's really fighting it. He's really fighting it. Let that real side of you come out, man. Show him who you really are. Drop the act. Do you think genitals define gender? No. Why? People can do whatever makes them feel better about themselves. What if I like wanted to become black? Could I do that? No, because race is a set thing. Like race isn't a construct, but gender is. They're both things you're born with. Well, I don't think that you're born with your gender. I think gender is what society sets on people. So I could be like, you look like a boy? 
Shoot, if you want to say that, you can. Page 127. My swell up. Thanks, Daddy. Daddy sick me. Disgust me. I nauseous in my stomach, but not, but hot tight in my twin. Bishop has some words for you. Is this book that you're referencing in one of our libraries? It is. It's in Legacy High School. Thank you. You may continue. Call me names. Pump in, out, in, out. Oh, I came. He bite me hard, a hump, a hump. He's slamming me again, his off. He starts sucking my This needs to be removed tonight. We have six men on this board. If you don't remove this book, you're either a punk or a pervert. Pick, choose your medicine. No, you got your, I got a gavel too. Here is the gavel. That's my gavel. The gavel is the truth. You guys are walking me out because I spoke the truth. And I'm no pervert. Huh? So are you going to ruin the book? I, I will get that book out, but I'm letting you know right now. Thank you. I'm no punk and I'm no pervert. If the book stays, I'm no punk you're I'm either no a punk or a pervert. I'm no punk and I'm no pervert. And so you're going to get it out, right? I will get the book out. Thank no you. Give this man a hand. Give this man a hand. That's what we need. I really hope that man sticks to his word and gets that book out of schools because the fact that's even in there in the first place and that got put in that school is just insanity. I'm so loving and tolerant. I can feel the tolerance that you are. Jesus Christ. Calm down, mate. Don't flip and cry over it, will you? Listen. Why do we always hear the screams and shouts and they, they all look and act the same? At this point, they just need to... Stop it. Get some help. 